what I want to do right now is get you guys uh, set up inside of Instamate, and it's so, so simple. The biggest thing with this whole uh, project here is making it a completely seamless integration. So again, it's the first tool to ever allow you to both post and schedule updates through uh, a web-based software. So up until now, Instagram was only on your mobile. We bring it to your actual uh, computer, and we also allow you to find the most viral content in any niche and whatnot. So I'll show you how you can find the content, edit the content, post the content, schedule the content, all instantly inside of Instamate here. So when you first log in, come down to the bottom here. Uh, if you want to select your actual time zones, you can do that in here in settings, but uh, straight away, go to your accounts, and you'll get asked to install a Chrome extension here. So uh, the way we actually uh, post and schedule Instagram pictures to our Instagram accounts is through this Chrome extension. And what this allows us to do is that means that every user of Instamate, it will be using the user's IP address. And this is so important when it comes to Instagram because Instagram keeps track of where um, you log into Instagram from. And if we had done this through our web server, uh, Instagram will say, okay, well, this isn't normally where uh, John logs into his Instagram from. Um, we're going to actually ask him to verify his account or reset his password and stuff like that. And if there's lots of accounts going out there logging in through one IP, um, it starts to raise some flags with Instagram. So um, that's even with your mobile devices. If you, if you log into too many accounts um, on your mobiles, uh, Instagram will know. So um, what we're doing here is making it 100% safe for the user and we've made this extension here that actually runs through an actual Android device in, in, in a sense. So it's still going through um, Instagram directly. So it's a really cool way to do this and it's never been done before. So all you need to do is uh, click install Chrome extension. And it's gonna download the extension down here. So uh, then we're gonna go straight over um, to here. We're gonna, then gonna go to more tools extensions. And again, we're gonna add this extension into the, Chrome, into the Google Chrome store. Um, but for now, this is just the drag and drop way to do it. So drag and drop it in here, add extension, and it's as simple as that Instamates here. Make sure it is enabled. Um, and then we're gonna go back to uh, the web.instamate.com. So we're gonna come down here now, we're gonna go to accounts, we're gonna add in our Instagram account. I've already done it, you can add in multiple and then you can activate which account you wanna use at that time. I'm gonna add in my account again here. Even though I've already added, I'll just show you how it works. Add it in there. Then we're going to go over to the Instagram Finder. And that's all you need to do to set this up. Now it's going to post perfectly, perfectly to our accounts. So I'll show you here if we go instamate.com slash, sorry, instagram.com slash Luke McGuire. My last picture was here, me here outside Harry Potter World at Universal the other week. Um, so we'll go in here and let's type in Harry Potter then. And it'll go out right now and find every Harry Potter Instagram page, fan page, any page related to Harry Potter, and all the different hashtags that are related to Harry Potter. So it's pretty cool. And then you can click on them and see all the photos under that hashtag, or I can go to Harry Potter um, official, for example. It'll pull all the Instagram updates from this actual page. And you can do some pretty cool things here. You can uh, actually just download it. I can download it if I wanted to. I can download this and it downloads directly to my desktop. I can see the info to see what hashtags they've used. This one, they haven't actually used any hashtags. Neither have they owned many of these. Um, but if they have got a hashtag included, then they're gonna actually appear here along with the comment. What I can then do here, let's say if I wanted to post this directly to my Instagram account, maybe this one here. Actually, maybe not this one, maybe one of these other ones just to make it a bit more um, normal for my personal Instagram account. Or let's just get weird and we'll post Harry Potter to my account. So all I need to do is actually hit this upload button. Uh, example post from, example post from Instamate. Harry Potter, hashtag Harry Potter. I'm gonna post that and it's gonna go ahead right now and post that directly to my Instagram account. So I'll refresh this and you can see that happened right now. I've done that, it looks a bit weird. It's actually then I linked my actual hashtag perfectly. And I can add call to actions and anything I want in there. So you can see how powerful that is. I can then go ahead and do the same thing with if I want to post to Instagram here. 
I can upload and drag my own content that I already have on my computer into uh, Instamate here. And we're gonna have a Google Image Mass Downloader, Facebook Image Mass Downloader, um, and give, the, give our customers many different ways to actually find this content they can use. Say for example, I wanted a trending. This will show you what's going viral right now around the world on Instagram. Um, so we'll pull this up now with my really slow Australian internet. Um, so we've got this here. Say for example, I wanted to actually post or edit, let me see what I want to post. Again, it's going slow. So let me just say, say for example, I want to actually go ahead and this file here. I'll download this. I can download it straight to my computer. What we're going to be doing is linking this edit button. So this is for one of the upsells where we actually have a complete image editing suite that is going to be OTO1, which is going to be an absolute no-brainer. We've worked this whole funnel out backwards to ensure maximum conversions and Instagram and image editing go hand in hand. So if I hit this right now, uh, by the launch day or in the coming days from now, this will populate that image directly into our Instagram editor here. But just right now, I've just um, we're still uh, connecting that right now. So I'm going to actually add that manually because I downloaded it. I'm going to open it here. I then can do anything from rotating and resizing and rounding and changing the color. I can add the Instagram filters. I can go brighter. I can then change the brightness. Um, I can then make it, I can sharpen it. I can add these different filters and really make it unique to what I want to actually do. Um, you can then add shapes on top of it if I want to. So I can add in a shape and I can add in call to actions doing that. Uh, I can actually draw on the actual image itself if I want to. Um, I can then add in call to actions with different fonts, which is pretty cool. Um, and then we're going to actually, we actually have the ability to add in the logos and watermarks on top of the image itself. So it's pretty cool. And we can add in layers. So um, you guys get the idea of how important layers are in terms of Photoshop and whatnot. We can add in as many layers as we want. Add in logos. You can play around with this for as long as you like. And then we can have obviously the button to then post directly to Instagram here. So that's pretty cool. So we can save that image, post it, upload it directly. Um, you gotta get the ideas of what's going on here. We then have the training upsell here, which will be populated in the following days, with some more bonuses. Um, with it, we're then gonna have our actual Instagram uh, link cloaker. So you can actually add in affiliate links into your actual Instagram account. And uh, so you can send users straight to your actual uh, affiliate link landing page from Instamate directly. So that's pretty cool. So um, I'll uh, pause this here now and I'll let you guys get straight into it. Make sure you add the plugin to Chrome, make sure it's activated, get started, and I hope you really uh, enjoy this. Mm -hmm.